I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump into you. That's fine. Bye. Bye. Arthur Dimmesdale! Arthur Dimmesdale! Hello? I, I'm, I'm sorry to barge in, but I saw you and I wanted to say hi. You don't really know me, but I'm the guy... The guy who ran into me down by the entrance on Tuesday, right? I remember your voice. You made a strong first impression. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. And I had to run off too, but I was late for something. No big deal. I'm usually the one who bumps into things. Here's a nice change. Scarlet Letter, right? We read that in that first semester. How do you like it? Too slow for me. I like books with more action. Yeah, me too. So, do you come here and study a lot? I've got this room reserved four times a week. I look pretty close. A couple hours here is better than being stranded at home all the time. So you don't really go to school, like, not every day? Like, never. I take correspondence courses, independent study. Through the U of C? So you can use the library and stuff? No, I've got an ID because my dad teaches here. I take courses from a special school up on the North Shore. Your dad teaches here? So does my mom. She's into English literature. What's your dad teach? Astronomy, mostly. And some math. He's pretty much a nerd. How long have you been blind? I mean, like, I'm not trying to get personal, but I just wondered, because I really don't know anyone who's blind, and I was just... Curious? You were curious about the blind little girl? It's all right. I can talk about it. I've only been blind for about two years. Was it an accident or something? An accident? An accident? You mean, like, as opposed to maybe I made myself blind on purpose? Maybe by poking myself with a sharp pencil? Or, like, a pot of acid blew up in science class? That kind of accident? Is that what you mean? Hey, it's okay. If you don't want to talk, I'll just go away. Really, didn't mean to bother. Didn't mean to take you away from your wonderful novel. So long.